goes with the birds. Exactly. Anybody out there in London still listening? <laughs> this is for all the fashion victims. It's called Boneyard Chic. He says wearing a chic. He read this one on an online. You should read a different one. It's already on an online. It's an archive. It's really done. You wanted me to read this one, do you? Yeah, it's not live anymore. Go it's on, on read it. How do you know? Yeah, you know. it's a revision. He's okay, a revision. Read it, read it, read it. Boneyard Sheep, the maimed elephant, half-tusked, roars out the glass photograph while bacchanalians munch lamb chops, discuss the latest market plunge as baby crocs emerge from their shells, capricious basilisks. The faux rod teases his harem and beat survivors regale with shaggy tails, the blow-dried Tarzan downstairs, calming the apes and the rolling stones. With tongue trunks in their drinks, the non-elect stampede. Second-tier socialites charge gorillas at the gate. The crashers demolish their raw fish, rub shoulders with repelled starlets, poaching on a private preserve. The talk is of Bubba and his billy club, the steep price of internal emissions. The line for the loo stretches miles, past Nairobi into Tanzania. The showcased remains of elephants gleam from every wall and plead to stop starving the supermodels adjoining them, juxtaposed in delirious contiguity in African jungle garb. Outside the frame, a broker nods approvingly. No ivory gathers dust in his closet. The trappings of wealth and power erode the portrait to bare bones, a lion skinned alive, a drained water hole, dead crocodiles, Bodies mangled, rotting, sandwiching a dead man. Shrimp is served on skewers and future appointments made. Yay. This next one's called the Blue Shark. Or the Blue Sharks. Blue Sharks nudge their metal snouts into the evil avenues gelatinous eyes peering out headlamps, their fins mere truncheons of state, their brains controlled by city hall, keening morsels of civilly disobedient pilot fish, great whites lurk near Tompkins, sleek blue pinstripes radioing on three-wheeled lampreys to track down blood-sucking non-comps, dismiss with a skull pop or daze them in paroxysms of fear, monitor paranoia, waves of degeneration down once friendly waters, their stun guns, electric eels, goonie blues who wield plunger sticks like sw swordfish tromboners, and unload on darker alien fish with 41 fatal chomps, with phalanxes of great white whale sharks full of hammerheads. Woe to all who would net them in, their teeth titanium razor wire, though their minds are small as dinosaurs and know not what they trample. Is that first poem picked up on the mic? Yeah, you want okay. to pick it up here. This is a poem I wrote in Prague. It's called Golem. When does the dream become what could never happen? One circular reality remit the next. The undulations of the sephiro inscribed in intersectionless streets curved like time, animate Voltava mud. A biting rain falls October in Prague, stings slow buckshot billets the cows of untold specters who glide the moss leggy, the spray of satyrs a mere three years old, the stamp and stir of revolutionaries, hostilers, Jew killers, Kabbalists, dejected workers and the merely curious. Unrecorded saints have renounced this checkpoint and lovers left marks in the scuffed paving stones, the vapors of vanquished kisses and memories of cigarette smoke bounce off the Visharad walls to the lesser town to Angel, where she hopped the last metro like Deneuve to a reluctant familial barracks, but home, uncomplicated, unlike the scrolls of hermetic crackpots, their stairs burning through the fog, those who only see the gold of youth, green jewels against tan skin, a scrap of paper in the third eye, drizzly wind clicks in the streetlights, and another ghost has crossed this bridge. <laughs> this one's called Magic Carpet Ride, A Night in Marrakesh. 
Something from the Sahara crawls into your back, won't let go. Obtuse moon through a rooftop cage squints overhead like a needle's eye, but brighter, and the camels dangle from the honeyed lips of carpet brokers who'd sell their sisters' husbands on the cheap, or lying in their necks in dried mud, not laying cable in this Medina souk, where at dusk Allah is all anyone cares about a few long minutes, then the small electronic abacus left sleeping on the rug blinks, Arabic num numerals only the truly adept can conjure or confound. The song of the wind and amber squares blazing from Ketubia Mosque urge the earnest congregation to fleece the sheep-seeking infidel, supine and ecstatic in his ignorance, higher than the skidding clouds, flicked like ash over the atlas. Once you fuck on this, my friend, you forget about the price, Aziz intimates, blowing smoke rings into receptive ears and spinal columns flash from strange bugs crawling out of the fabric time forgot. The sky's design, tanger blue, but beneath your eyes spin crosshat shapes, maroon, black, and ochre, kill em colors like credit card swipes, berbering through cyberspace, a few more bitten sighs, until an awkward long-necked bird lifts off the Medina's mud and battlements, cuts a scimitar swath through the dust. And the last poem I'm going to read is called uh, Sanibel, which is an island off the coast of Florida. Sanibel. Hot pink spoonbills launch from trees in the blinding day. Fluorescent fish jump at night under half moon in the cooling lagoon. From that veranda, none else mattered. The profligacy heaped regrets like ransacked Calusan mounds the trite boasts of salty seacocks crowing over you. You are no woman to be pirated to Captiva, yet held there, three there, buccaneers with gat teeth and shivered me timbers to cold marrow, knee deep in the warm gulf. The nightmare and the paradise dream tied together a tail like two mules, whipped to opposite directions over the manicured lawns of Naples where poloed poseurs and shiftless millionaires, beachcombers and topless beamers carouse and take the thick night air. You drew blood. My wounds burst open in the daylight. Such sharp focus upon the minutiae of self-neglect, abuse, and drunken irresponsibility. Yet we are more than the sum of our mistakes. The light off the lagoon made my blood leap too and you were there to taste it, tightened against eternity in the shade of the mangroves, palms, and pine.